This man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. We send it inside Ladies the octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, Here's Bruce this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. But... Ready? Ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five tour. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Left-right combo is good. Just misses with a left hook there. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Big Paul punch man. Now he gets back in range. Oh, single collar tie here. And he landed the right hand there. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits his double leg. 
That's a big strike right there. Just misses with the jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Oh, and the gentleman lands another punch there. He is keeping the strike counters busy tonight. The counts are high, but it's also the timing at which he lands these strikes. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up, so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Keep your hands up. Come on now. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, he caught the kick, and now counters with the takedown. Heady stuff there. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna attack armbar here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. And he's out. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. 30 seconds now to go in round one. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. He's back in half goal. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Round two straight ahead. One more, one more, one more. level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take it. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching this fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Good stick. 
Dominic lands. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Miss with that right hand. Huge block there. Nice straight punch. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move. Right, yeah. beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving it. It doesn't. That's a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Oh, Superman punch is good. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Nice left hand there on the inside. Yeah, he's fixed it all up. Body kick now by Lee. Kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Nice punch lands over the top. Beautiful leg kick bro. Oh, big left. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Oh, nice. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. And there's a takedown attempt. Right under the elbow. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. The right hook to the body. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just out of range with that uppercut. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Straight punch lands. Missed with that right hand. That is a thudding leg kick. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh! Big kick. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Nice punch by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. To throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other, but you did see times where they came together in the sort of skill level of these two fighters. Out of range with that one. Superman punch lands! I 
punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Plans the right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Great punch landed with so much power. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, a lot of debilitating leg kicks tonight, and that left thigh now starting to show signs of bruising. Oh, nice right here. Oh, big Superman punch there. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice stupid punch. Lands with a right hand. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Big kick land. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it that was the right time. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Still nice body he lands. Nice punch land. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't do too many more. Yeah, not you gotta get the elbow to the side, because otherwise he's gonna land one and it's gonna shut everything down. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, spinning back this. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Lee gets caught with that punch. A little single collar tie there. Big head kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, Superman punch is true. Got clip with the right hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Guys, really throwing with authority. Oh, Superman punch! Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. And he's back up. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Comes through with a big knee. He hurt him. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. How about those five minutes? All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you've got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead up to that attack. 
Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you were one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery, <laughs> wet or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice punch land over the top. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Flipped with a left-hand counter. Body kick is blocked. Oh, big punch land. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Nice head kick. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. He gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Hook to the head, it's blocked. Just out of range with that right hook. You can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, over the top. This fight can be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the punch on going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, straight right. Under three minutes now to go on the round. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Nice one, two there. trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, that's a good right hand. Nice head kick. Oh, Superman punch lands. Nice kick there by Lee. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Now connects with a right. of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the guy. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, no shots to the head. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks, he's throwing punches. to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Connects now with the one-two. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you gotta think his opponent is gonna continue to attack him. Straight punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on him. The punch that lands down the the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed. Blocks the shot. Oh! He like that oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh. 
He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. There's no give on that leg kick. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, ladies and gentlemen, is only getting worse. Likely gonna need to get stitched up after the fact, and blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Not a good reality for him here tonight. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Fifth and final round. kick as well. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Lee. Tags him with a flush left. Got the single collar tie. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Great punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. <laughs> Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Head kick land. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Big punch from the clinch. put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can forge a mistake and open. minutes now to go in this one. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg. inflicted there. Changes his stance. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Less than a minute now to go in the round. Look at him. 
whipped his hip into that kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! 45 seconds remain in the round. Nice punch there. Slips. 30 seconds. And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bugliotti has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ruth the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also 